Right, it's time for another installment on the power supply project. As you can see here, um, I've done my first prototype board. It's a bit of a mess at the moment, but uh, for testing purposes, it's fine. I can see here, this is my voltage reference based on the REF01. So this is for the voltage and the current. Uh, as you know, the REF01 gives me 10 volts. I've run that through precision resistors to give me half of that. So I've got 5 volt and it goes into this op amp here and then it goes to this potentiometer and then to this op amp to get buffered out to be able to go into my um, voltage uh, reference pin on my power supply and I've got the same thing for the current at the moment I've got the current to 3 volt so I've just got some voltage divided there with the resistors to give me from 0 to 3 volt and uh, the gain of the op amp is 2 so I got 5 volt here it gives me 10 volt there I decided to um, to make the power supply from 0 to 10 volt because um, the transformer that I have if I put it up to 15 volt um, it kind of uh, lags behind it's got voltage drop so it doesn't really give uh, uh, 15 volt and then makes the well pre-regulator uh, comes out of regulation so it wasn't unstable so I decided to just bring it down so I got a better headroom there so from 0 to 10 volt so it's gonna have three separate channels from 0 to 10 volt the power supply and you can see here that's the max out at 10 volt and if I bring it down also by doing that I got finer um, finer turns on the pot as you can see here so I'm using all the all the turns on the pot to be able to set the voltage as you can see here I can set it up 5 volts and we go here so if I start pulling current you see it's gone into um, constant current and the LED is turned off so if I come there we go we are out of constant current so say I've go at the moment I've set it to uh, go into constant current at one and a half amp so at the moment I'm pulling one amp and you can see there's no voltage drop it's still almost 5 volt and as you can see here from the meter I'm pulling one amp and the constant it's not kicked in into constant current so if I go up there we go constant current mode the LED is off and we reached one and a half amp and um, I've decided to put also to put this uh, the maximum output uh, the current capabilities up to one and a half amp because if I was pulling two amp uh, this uh, resistor I get get too hot and it, it it become unstable kind of unstable so you know one and a half amps still perfectly fine for all the works and stuff I want to do if I want to have something heavy duty then I just use my uh, 10 amp power supply which I've got over there so as you can see here this is the first prototype and I've been testing it, it all kind of loads and uh, it's working fine not an issue Okay, say for instance, I'm at, um, this is one amp, okay, and you can see we're not in constant current. So if I go with the current pot and just start to bring it down, there we go, we're in constant current, and it's dropped, and as you can see here, the current is dropped. If I go down, there we are, I can make it, so we got half an amp, is in constant current mode, so if I just bring it completely down, I can start dialing up, dial up, dial up, as you can see, there we go, constant current mode, and just the normal, there we go, constant current mode, and uh, it also goes to zero volt, so that's something that I wanted to do, so if I just bring it down, there we go, there we go, truly zero volt, I can bring it to half a volt, There we go, that's half an volt on the power supply. There we are, I'm pulling almost half an amp. And we still, we only dropped four microvolts as you can see from the, from the meter. So very stable power supply. As you can see there, and capable of going from zero to 10 volt. And very stable as you can see here that's what was my main concern to have a, a power supply that is very stable so if I go to one and a half volt there we go 
almost there we go one and a half volt as you can see there it's not jumping around or anything that was my main concern to have a power supply that you know be very stable if I'm setting a voltage I want it to stand that voltage I don't want it to jump around and here's the PCB for it I've just had to uh, just tighten the tracks a bit and just you know put the bypass caps and stuff like that to make it even more stable and as you can see here it's just a little print of it and you can see here um, I've got uh, I'm just explain here I've got a few op amps so I've got the this is the current op amp to set the current this is a voltage to set the voltage so basically this side is the actual power supply and the bottom here is the voltage reference bit as you can see with the big tracks uh, these are where the current's going to travel through um, I didn't need to be at one and a half amp you don't need to have heavy tracks like so but I just decided to put it through I've got a relay here with the 555 shot switch uh, toggle switch to turn the relay on and off I didn't want to put a normal toggle switch to uh, turn the load on and off because uh, you do get uh, you do get bounces on a normal switch. Uh, I didn't want to have any uh, bounce, you know, bouncing around on my output of the power supply. So I've just installed. I'll uh, just put a little um, uh, relay there to just uh, turn the load on and off. And this is the output. I can see here I've got a lot of bypass capacitors all around here. These are all bypassing capacitors. Um, and this is my uh, voltage reference. This is the uh, regular voltage regulator voltage reference. Then we got uh, buffers and the voltage dividers down here, and then another buffer and the voltage divider setting there for the current and voltage, and another voltage reference uh, sorry voltage regulator for the 555 uh, toggle switch. You can see here, and down here is where the pass transistor goes for the output. And down here is where my uh, shunt resistor is to measure the current. And uh, that's it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, print three of these, three copies of this. And on a glossy paper and do a, with my printer down there, Samsung printer, do a toner transfer. And etch it using, there we go, that's my acid down there. And uh, that's it. Once done, I'm going to install it into this. Um, am I, uh, there's a company that you can uh, order front panel board, front panel for uh, projects that you do. So I need to uh, download their software and just uh, do a bit of measurements and stuff. I'm going to make it look professional. So I'm just going to probably order the front panel, couple of front panel from them. And then uh, that's it. I still have to, I still got uh, two more of these boards to do for the voltage meters. And uh, for my current, I had those. Uh, I can find them where they gone. Uh, yeah, I got these. For my current, as you can see, I've modded one of them. So instead of sitting in the middle, it's sitting uh, at the far end. So I just need to take this apart and uh, just put my own scale there, printer scale from zero to one and a half amp, and uh, just uh, figure out which resistor I need for the scale. And uh, that's it. So um, almost done, as you can see here. Everything is working fine. Now, one other thing, I think I might install these for my uh, current panel, uh, for my current uh, potentiometer to be able to set the current with this. So uh, probably because this has got three digit, I uh, probably whatever I select needs to be times ten. So uh, one and a half hundred and fifty means one and a half amps. So that's something I, I, might, I might do for later on or not. Uh, I think I got these, so I might use them or not. I don't know. But uh, yeah, this is it. It's the project, and uh, we're almost done. So once once I do this, then what I do, I'll put the PCB. Uh, you know, whoever wants it, I can just you know, I'll email them the this PCB. I'm using uh, Proteus, as you can see here, for uh, PCB design. It's something that I've been using for a long time. I'm you know quite uh, quite fast in it, and uh, I'm, I'm used to all the you know all these settings and stuff I know a lot of people use Eagle and uh, other programs but this is this you know this is what I'm happy with so I'm just gonna use this and I've really haven't had any issue with this software so uh, this is the 
you know, software I use, so I don't know what it formats it exports for people to be able to open in Eagle or whatever software they're using. But yeah, if 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 anyone wants it, I can just you know make it available for you. So that's it, and uh, until next video where I do the board and start uh, putting parts on. Thanks for watching, and if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. And uh, until next time, goodbye.